Welcome to the very first video for our AI series for audio signal processing with Python. In this video, we're going to talk about the very first step on analyzing audio signals, and that is reading audio files in Python. There are a selection of Python libraries that you can use to play audio files. A few of these libraries let you play a range of audio formats, including MP3 and NumPy arrays. All of these libraries let you play WAV files, some with few or more lines of codes than others. Let's start with the first one, the play sound. Play sound is a pure Python cross-platform single function module with no dependencies for playing sounds. With this module, you can play a sound file with a single line of code. So for this one, you just need the library for play sound. If you haven't installed it yet, you just go to your terminal Go to a terminal and install your play sound library. So in order for you to play a sound using play sound, after you import the library for play sound, you just have to call the function play sound, then the name of the file. You have your sam sam sample file with file name of do.mp3. If you try to run this code, the next one is the Simple Audio. Simple Audio is a cross-platform library for playback of mono and stereo wave files with no dependencies. So we have here the following code which can be used to play a WAV file and wait for the file to finish playing before terminating the script. So let's get in the detail of the script line by line. So we have here the import statement, which allows us to import the simple audio library and declare it as SA. So similarly, if you haven't installed the simple audio library, just go to the terminal or to your command prompt and install simple audio. Okay, so we have here file name, which is a variable where we stored the actual file name of the file that we want to play. So for this case, I have a rain.wav file, which is an audio file, and I installed this string to the file name variable. Another variable which I created is the audio file. So I utilize the library for simple audio, and I have here the function under that library, which is the wave object that from wave file, I'm going to get the file with the file name rain.wav. So after loading that file, Onto my simple audio, I stored it on the variable audio underscore file. Then the next line of code is where we actually play the sound using the method that play. So I have here the audio file which contains the simple audio with the loaded file name of rain.wav and ask that um, object to play the file stored on the audio underscore file variable. And after that, I have here the wait underscore done method, which allows us to wait until the sound has finished playing. So if we try to run this code, that's it. So WAV files contains a sequence of bits representing the raw audio data as well as headers with metadata in RIFF or the resource interchange file format. The third approach in playing an audio file in Python is the WinSound. If you use Windows, you can use the built-in WinSound module to access its basic sound playing machinery. Playing a WAV file can be done in a few lines of code. The first one is importing the WinSound library. Then we have your file name equals the string or the name of the file that we want to use or the audio file that we want to use then the actual line of code that will play the audio file win sound that play sound then we have here the parameters the name of the file or the file name then the win sound that snd underscore file name which is a built-in function in the win sound library for windows operating system win sound does not support playback for any files other than web files so if you try to run this code The next one is the Python sound device. As stated in its documentation, Python sound device 
provides bindings for the Port Audio Library and a few convenience functions to play and record NumPy arrays containing audio signals. In order to play WAV files, NumPy and sound file need to be installed to open WAV files as NumPy arrays. With Python sound device, NumPy and sound file installed, you can now read a WAV file as a NumPy array and play it back. So as we can see on this code, we have imported the two libraries. Similarly, if you haven't installed it, just install it using your command prompt or your terminal for map. Then we have here the name of the file. We store it on a variable file name. The line containing the sf.read extracts the raw audio data as well as the sampling rate of the file as stored in its riff header and sound device that width ensures that the script is only terminated after the sound finishes playing. So if we try to run this code, lastly we have the PyDub. Although PyDub can open and save WAV files without any dependencies, you need to have an audio playback package installed to play audio. Simple audio is strongly recommended, but PyAudio, FFPlay, and AVPlay are alternative options. The following code can be used to play a WAV file with PyDub. So we have here the from PyDub import audio segment and from PyDub.playback import play. In order for you to use this, you have to install first the PyDub library. So you just have to use again your command prompt or your terminal to install those applications or those libraries. Then we have your variable sound where we installed or where we actually stored the, the value of the file name that we want to play rain.wav and we utilize the audio segment method from the PyDub library. Then we have the code which actually runs or plays the sound which we stored in the sound variable. So if we try to run this code, in order to play back other audio types such as mp3 files, ffmpeg, or libov should be installed. You can have a look at the documentation of PyDub for instructions. As an alternative to the steps described in the documentation, FFmpeg Python provides bindings for FFmpeg and can be installed using pip. So we can go to the terminal and try to run pip install FFmpeg dash Python. So that should download the library for your FFmpeg dash Python. So after successful installation, you can go back to your code and you just have to do some small changes in your earlier code in order for you to run an mp3 file. So we're going to retain these libraries because we still need them. Then we have sound equals audio segment. So instead of from underscore wav, we're going to make this from underscore mp3. So we have here the sample file to that mp3 and we have here play that sound. If we're going to run this code, that's it. To summarize, PlaySound is the most straightforward package to use if you only simply want to play a WAV or MP3 file. It offers no functionality other than simple playback. Simple Audio lets you play WAV files and NumPy arrays, and gives you options to check whether a file is still playing. WinSound allows you to play WAV files or beep your speakers, but it works only on Windows. Python Sound Device and Pi Audio provide bindings for the Port Audio Library for cross-platform playback of WAV files. And lastly, PyDub requires Pi Audio for audio playback, but with FFmpeg installed, it lets you play a large range of audio formats with only a few lines of codes.